Hey guys, it's Zach, bringing you the first episode of our Battlefield Ultimate Guide. For this video, we are talking about the Support Class. The f Support Class uses LMGs to lay down heavy suppressing fire to help their teammates out, or mow down lines of enemies. They also can resupply their allies using ammo crates. If you like helping out your squad and destroying your enemies with an infinite supply of bullets, this class is for you. Let's begin with guns. In most games, the starting weapons are some of the worst not in Battlefield, or at least not for the support class. The RPK and the M27 are both fantastic guns. Some players might even prefer these guns to the later ones you unlock. The reason is, both these guns handle like their assault rifle counterparts, and are the only LMGs to offer a semi-automatic firing mode. I personally like the RPK, due to the iron sights feeling way more natural, and it fires a bit smoother than the M27. After playing around with the class, you will start to unlock more guns. My two favorites are the M249 Saw, which has an incredible rate of fire, and the M60E4, which offers high damage. But if I had to pick one, I'd definitely go with the M249 Saw. With the Saw's high rate of fire, it makes mowing down enemies at nearly any range easy. Not to mention it's the second gun you unlock while the M60 is the last. It also has a great iron sight. Other weapons which include the Type 88 and the PKP don't compare to these two guns, although you should test out each of them before deciding which firearm is best for you. That brings us to attachments. As far as optical sights go, I believe that the reflex is the best, but before we get into why that is, let's talk about its competitors. The infrared scope only works well in low-lit areas, which doesn't make it ideal for every map. The ACOG has a 4x zoom, but since LMGs are such unstable weapons, it makes it difficult to keep on an enemy with that sight, not to mention you don't stand a chance at close ranges. The PKAS is a circular holographic sight. Next to the reflex, this is your best choice since it works at long and short ranges. The Cobra has a unique reticle, although it blocks a bit of your view and works best at close ranges. The holographic sight offers a circle and dot reticle and it comes down to opinion when put against the reflex. It's the best choice for new players, especially if they're new to FPS's. Now finally, the reflex. The reflex offers, in my opinion, the same amount of accuracy as an ACOG without the unsteady zoom. It is a sight that is wide open and gives you a good sense of your surrounding. It also has a faster aim down sight which lets you compete with SMGs and assault rifles at close ranges. Then there is underbarrel attachments. If you're not using the foregrip, you are doing it wrong. The other attachment is the bipod, which lets you mount a weapon for increased accuracy. The only problem is you have to be against cover or prone to use it. It's still a bit glitchy too, and sometimes fails to deploy, or if you turn too much, will retract. The grip is helpful in nearly every situation imaginable, with no downfalls. Without it, LMGs are useless at long range. Just a quick tip, if you can see only a portion of the enemy's body, or at mid to long range, burst fire by tapping the fire trigger in a rhythmic pattern. It also makes LMGs have a sniper distance. Lastly, there are secondary attachments. There are five. Extended mags, tactical light, laser sight, suppressor, flash suppressor. Since you're going to be at mid to long ranges, tack light and laser sights are useless unless you want to give up your position. Suppressor and flash suppressor are fine, but once you get extended mags, it's mandatory. It doubles the size of your drum mag, and as an LMG user, reloading it's your worst enemy. Another tip is to never shoot down to your last bullet. Even if it's just one, it decreases the reload time of any gun. Speaking of reloading, you're going to want to get used to a pistol. Sometimes in the heat of battle, reloading is unbearable. Switching to a f pistol is always faster than reloading. I use the M1911 because it has good accuracy, high damage for a pistol, and it can be unlocked right out of the box. All you need to do is sign up for EA Gun Club online. After a while of leveling up, you unlock the same weapon with different attachments. I use the tactical version, which has the flashlight on it, since it increases your chance of killing a person at close range because they're blinded. Gadget 1 only has one option, and that's the ammo crate. The ammo crate is the most important part of this class. Teammates are always running out of ammo, so be sure to put them down often. If you're not near a teammate in need, put it in a high traffic area. You will get tons of points and help out your team. In Gadget 2, there are three options. C4, Claymores, and Mortars. Cl 
claymores are powerful but only have a use when guarding a doorway. You can try and use it to guard a bomb and rush, but it's not very effective. You should try it yourself, maybe you'll have better luck than me. Mortars. If used correctly, they are invaluable to the team. It has both explosive and smoke grenades and have unlimited rounds, but it's also difficult to use. If you're good with it, it'll be your defining factor as a team player, but for the rest of us, C4 is the best option. It can be used defensively to guard a bomb, offensively to destroy a tank, or tactically to blow open walls to make easy entrance points. And to end this, there are specializations. It may be tempting to use sprint, but suppression is more important for the team. If you're new to Battlefield, you probably come from Call of Duty. The biggest tip I can possibly give is stop being selfish and work for the team. Having a good KD is helpful, but a person can go negative and still top the leaderboards. This game rewards you for working as a team. Well, that's it for this class. I hope you enjoyed it. Our next Ultimate Guide video will be coming out soon, so make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See ya.